I have no problem personally taking stairs unless those stairs are a broken escalator. But like, like I, if I'm on stairs, I'm walking up, I'm just like, oh yeah, no problem, this is great, I'm getting in some extra steps, good exercise, just running up and down, right? But if there's a broken escalator, I'm like, oh, oh, it's exhausting, oh, why don't they fix this? Is this a third world country? Has the apocalypse happened? Am I in a dystopian YA novel? It's exhausting. By the way, I mentioned, uh, I mentioned steps, and I, I, do, I do track my steps, but to be honest, it's hard for me to measure my distance because with my step number, I'm never sure should I like divide that number in half or multiply it by two? Like, does, do the crutches count in w and, and are those, they should be subtracted or is it just one leg, but actually each leg is two, I have no idea. Maybe their step count is the same. I really don't know. Hey internet, thanks for watching my video. That was a recording, of course, from my one-man show that I do on Friday nights here in Santa Monica. One time recently during the Q&A after the show, a guy raised his hand and asked, do I track my steps? And if so, do I double that number? The audience laughed and I was like, you know, I've never really thought about that, but that's a very good question. And also uh, probably would work well as a joke, which brings up an interesting question about the source of jokes. Like, is that an original joke or should I be paying that guy royalties or something? But before the advent of the internet, presumably there were comics who were making their whole careers out of stealing other comedians jokes. And today, because of the internet, if you steal people's jokes, you can feel pretty confident someone's gonna call you out on it. Which to be clear, I think is a really good thing. But today, sometimes the troll will come out in great anger even if one of your jokes covers the same subject as someone else's joke who covers that subject. For example, I recently tweeted about the subject of this video, that is the idea about broken escalators, and someone immediately replied and was like, Mitch Hedberg has a joke about escalators being broken, how dare you steal his joke? I wasn't familiar with Mitch Hedberg's joke about broken escalators, so I looked it up. He does have one, but it's actually kind of the opposite premise, that there is no such thing as a broken escalator. So obviously I didn't steal it from him, but now I'm nervous to put this joke on the internet because I'm afraid people in the comments are gonna get really mad at me. So to be very clear, uh, his joke is way better. Like this isn't even a good joke that I'm doing. I don't, I probably shouldn't even post it. Anyway, the point is that we are living in an era where there is so much stand-up comedy online, which is awesome, but it also means that if you post uh, an original joke, probably someone or someone sometime has said something kind of similar in their joke. And that's why a lot of the jokes that I do are about having one leg, because not really anyone else is doing jokes like that, so it's kind of always original, it's always fresh. But there's also a downside to that, which is that all the jokes are about the same subject, and so from time to time people comment and complain, hey Josh, your jokes are repetitive, why don't you make jokes about other subjects, you are not good at writing jokes because they're all just about this one thing. So the question is, is it better to get complaints about being derivative or complaints about being repetitive? You might suggest that there's some kind of third option where you don't care about what people say in the comments or whatever, but guys, let's be honest, like if we didn't care about you liking us, we wouldn't post stuff for you. Deep down, all content creators, all vloggers, all comedians are exactly like you, except even more insecure and weirdly concerned about what strangers think of them on the internet. Anyway, thanks as always for watching. We should hang out sometime.